He wants other gods to take over America. He sent, he erected many altars. He made sure that he sent people. And you know because America is full of people of different cultures, different tribes, different nations, different from different places. If they came in, they didn't come alone. They came with their gods. There are those people that God sent them here. Trust me. He sent them here for a purpose. But there are also people that Satan sent them here to make sure that they bring other gods in this nation. And they have been working, establishing, setting themselves, putting some channels and so forth, setting the systems. The time has come. That time that the enemy was sending people, set these, raise this altar, raise this altar, and that altar, and that altar in America. Now time, the purpose for those gods to be sent here, it is now. And that's why the battle is intense. Because the season has come. We have seen gods like Baal. The Baal and his activities. Being worshipped here in America. What is worship of Baal? I won't go much. I'm not teaching about gods. Things like prostitution. In a high level. It's happening here. Sexual immorality. Is happening. You see people are saying. Let's fight abortion. By do, I mean. We are fighting. Abortion by killing the children. But the right way is not that. The right way was to get rid of sexual immorality. It's to teach our children that sex is just only for the people who are married. These gods have been brought in this nation. Child sacrifices, that is abortion. Where there is a an altar, I said thrones, altar, kingdoms and so forth. Where there is an altar a sacrifice must be made. Hello? Any altar that is erected, a sacrifice must be made to that altar. We are here. When we worship, we are offering sacrifice. You know that? When we praise, we are offering sacrifices. When we give offering, we are offering sacrifices. When we pray, we are offering sacrifices. And that's why when we pray, you better pray well. Because that is a sacrifice. Ah, you don't know that it is written. Angels are positioned. They are collect with balls. They are collecting your sacrifices and taking them before your father. Now ask your neighbor, do you think... Any bowel of your prayer have gone to God. That type of prayer that you pray. Ask your neighbor. That type of prayer that you pray. Do you think it is going anywhere? Anywhere where there is an altar, there is a sacrifice. Hello? So as this is the way that we offer sacrifices unto the living God. Likewise. When someone performs abortion, it's a sacrifice. It's a worship. When someone does fornication, you are not just doing fornication. No, you are doing a sacrifice. You are worshipping. When you're killing, you are worshipping. When you're stealing, you are worshipping. The worship unto the living God is righteousness. Hello? The worship to satanic altars is any evil that you know. 
So if you ask you, have you ever worshipped the devil? What is your answer? Write it there. So, sacrifices are being made. Gods like Ashtaroth all over America. And this is the God that wants to take over America. Ashtaroth wants to sit on the throne of America. This is the female goddess. It's not the beginning. He started way back. First Kings 11.5 Solomon worshipped Ashtaroth, the goddess of Sidonians, and Molech, the detestable god of Ammonites. Now, Solomon worshipped because of the wives he married. They came with their gods. So some Americans now are worshipping other gods because of the people that came in. They brought their gods. And their influence is powerful. So some Americans also they think it's normal. No, you are not just, it's not just normal. It's not a culture. No, it's not a cultural change. No, it's a way of worship. The enemy is influencing people to worship Baal, Ashtoreth, Molech, and other gods. First Kings 11.33 Solomon abandoned me and worshipped Ashtaroth, the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh, the god of Moab, and Molech, the god of Ammonites. He has not followed my ways and done what is pleasing in my, in my sight. He has not obeyed my decrees and regressions as David his father did. There is a day I was just praying and the Spirit of God told me the gods are returning. I want you to understand when you pray, you know what you pray. Gods are returning. There is a time the church was dealing with simple demons. Then the battle accelerated a bit. It started becoming a bit stronger, stronger. You could hear people pulling down strongholds and so forth, strongholds and strongholds. Did you hear that season? It came then when people were dealing with principalities and territorial spirits and so forth. Now, it's God's. The spiritual battle has been elevated. We are no longer fighting those small, small babies. The gods want to take over the world. They want to make an announcement that will influence the whole world. Hey, a law has been passed in America. From today, homosexuality is legal. And any nation that does not agree, you will not get anything from America. From today, abortion is legal. From today, marriage is no longer important. Just do whatever you want. From today, homosexual pastors are allowed and priests are allowed in the church. Any church that does not agree, it's, let it be closed. So Ashtoreth wants to come on the throne that declarations can make that will destroy and turn the world against God. Not only turning America, the whole world. And you know, as American, you should understand, God has trusted you with the decisions of the whole world. So if evil comes, it's you. You didn't vote right. We're not here to campaign. We're telling you what God has trusted you with. If more children will be killed in the world because of the declaration that has been made from the throne of America, just know, every American, I said America is you, is responsible of that. God is giving you a chance to change the cause of the ways of worshiping God in the whole world. Just, you, you, some, sometimes when, I, when, I, when I'm, I'm telling you, think this is an imaginary. Listen, there is a time 
when America was worshipping God, the news of worshipping God went all over the world. It influenced the whole world. You see, anywhere you go in, in the world, you see people be speaking, talking about preachers, but if they mention 10, 7 from America, everywhere you go, now you see, now if you don't do it right now, that means when people are mentioning about worshipping Satan, you have done it. The enemy wants to wipe away a good record of America and bring the evil record and it started in America it started in America in America way back America was exporting gospel and the power of God now America is exporting wickedness to the world now this is the chance to change and take back the good history of America. This is the chance. This is the last chance we have, America. This is it. 